afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce myself. My name is Adinda Nea Awalia. I'm studying at Fallout Nusantara Vocational High School. I'm studying at 12th grade. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected educational system worldwide, leading to the near total closure of school, universities, and college. Most governments decide to temporarily close educational institutions in an attempt to reduce the spread of COVID-19. As of 12 January 2021, approximately most of learnings are currently ahead due to school closure in response to the pandemic. According to UNICEF monitoring, 23 countries are currently implementing nationwide closure and 40 are implementing local closures, impacting about 47% of the world's student population. 112 countries' schools are currently open. School closure impact not only students, teachers, and families, but have for reaching economic and societal consequences. School closure in response to pandemic have shed light of various social and economic issues, including student debt, digital learning, food insecurities, and homeless, as well as access to children care, health care, housing, internet, and disability service. The impact was more severe for disadvantaged children and their families, causing interrupted learning compromised nutrition, childcare care problems, and subsequent economic costs to families who couldn't afford. Physical school closure and the adoption of distance education may negative affect student learning through for maintenance, less time spent in learning, stress symptoms, a change in the way students enter, and lack of learning motivation. However, in spite of this remote schooling is fundamental to ensure the continuity of learning in situations where in-person classes are suspect. COVID-19 and the closure of school may not affect students equally. Students from less advanced background can experience more significant learning loss during this emergency period than their more advanced counterparts. May this may be to difference in non-financial parental support, parental financial resources, school attend, and student digital skill. Ladies and gentlemen, parents from different socioeconomic background may have different ability in terms of both cognitive and non-cognitive skill, and availability to support their children in their learning process at home during the lockdown. Students from less advanced background are less likely to have access to digital research at home, less likely to have a suitable home learning environment, and more likely to have nutritional deficiencies. Another way through which the COVID-19 crisis may reinforce social inequality in education in represent by school. Students from more advanced background may be more likely to attend school with better digital infrastructure and where teachers have higher levels of digital skill. Children from more advanced background are more likely to study at school that are well equipped in the terms of digital technology research. Within this advantage, Household not only may parents not process basic digital skills, but may also hold for the children. Such situation puts the student at risk of not being able to full benefit of remote schooling activities. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope we can solve this problem mostly. We need to work hard together, include the parents, teachers, students, and public. We have to support the learning and teaching process in this uneasy situation. Thank you.